Being one of the most poisonous fish in the world, the stonefish has nothing to fear. Its spines laden with poison can kill a person in six hours. Its close relative is the lionfish. With its great pectoral fins spread out in a graceful fan, this spectacular looking fish is also dangerous if provoked. Their poison loaded dorsal spines can cause extreme pain and numbness. Its brightly patterned body clearly indicates this creature should be avoided at all costs. Nudibranchs also have warning colorations. Soft-bodied and vulnerable, they store toxins retrieved from their prey to use on their enemies. Many of the world's 3,000 species live here and procreate. Nudibranchs are hermaphrodites, meaning they are both male and female. Since all individuals can lay eggs, the odds of hatching are greater. It takes all types of strategies and the perfect timing to keep the legacy of the next generation safe. During courtship, the surgeon fish displays affection through an energetic acrobatic performance. After the male damselfish selects and cleans a site for spawning, he entices the female to the nest. He woos her by using excited swimming movements, even some nudging. If persuaded, she will lay her eggs and he will fertilize them. The triggerfish is an aggressive and dangerous parent during the nesting period. It has been known to attack divers who come too close for comfort. Coral reefs are important ecosystems that need safeguarding. With biodiversity rivaling that of the rainforest, they have immense ecological importance. Their pharmaceutical wealth is slowly being tapped into. Reefs are also important feeding and breeding grounds for many commercial fishes. By protecting the waters surrounding the islands, we can help to regenerate depleted aquatic life naturally. Coral reefs also attract visitors. They offer the perfect platform for raising awareness of our marine heritage and its conservation. As guardians of the reef, the marine parks must also be responsible for education and awareness programs, park maintenance, enforcement, park administration and biodiversity research. Showing visitors how to appreciate nature is an essential part of any successful conservation strategy. In marine conservation, most educational or awareness programs involve governmental and non-governmental organizations working side by side with marine parks. Regular beach cleanups are essential to safeguard the marine ecosystem. Household and industrial waste washes onto our shores from near and far. Of this, styrofoam, discarded fishing nets and ropes are among the most destructive. These choke and entangle marine life and suffocate coral. Underwater cleanups are also needed to remove trash. Marine debris can poison and injure reef life. Corals sometimes come under attack from other marine creatures. The crown of thorn starfish can destroy large tracts of coral by feeding on branching Acropora. Minimizing infestation by the starfish calls for volunteer divers to physically remove them. Public and corporate support is much needed here. Help is also needed from non-governmental organizations, dive clubs and diving schools to promote responsible snorkeling and diving to prevent reef degeneration. By reaching out to the public, marine park rangers help to spread the message that we must all help to conserve our marine ecosystem. Marine parks also maintain various buildings and complexes, signboards and anchoring buoys. Boat operators are reminded to use the buoys provided and not to anchor on coral. Regular surveillance and enforcement ensures that park regulations are observed. Patrol boats stop encroaching fishing vessels, 
coral stealing and spear fishing. To heighten awareness of the need for conservation, visitors are required to pay a nominal fee towards the upkeep and protection of our marine heritage. Harming marine life in the park is a serious offence, punishable by a maximum fine of 20,000 ringgit or two years jail, or even both. Visitors can also help by reporting any transgression at the nearest marine park centre. As development also affects the surrounding marine ecosystem, marine parks are also involved in the environmental impact assessment of any proposed island development project. Limited recreational activities are allowed in designated areas of the marine parks. Besides snorkeling and diving, you can also enjoy kayaking and sailing. On land, jungle trekking is a popular pastime while bird watching and photography have their followers. Marine park centers also guide visitors on regulations and activities permitted within the park. Additionally, exhibits and videos offer an overview of marine parks of Malaysia and their attractions. Besides regulating activities to prevent damage to the environment, marine parks also promote scientific study and research. These are aimed at preserving and enhancing the pristine state and productivity of biologically significant areas. Reef surveys map out the health of coral reefs. During reef checks, divers will note the presence of high-value commercial fish and invertebrate species in the area studied. Malaysia's marine parks offer protection for a complex and invaluable ecosystem. This is where unique animals and plants can coexist in their natural habitat within a safe and conducive environment. As you embrace our warm waters and delight in the many intriguing facets of our magnificent coral reefs, do remember that protecting our precious natural heritage is everyone's responsibility.